Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Black Ops 6 beta. You know what's annoying about the Black Ops 6 beta? It's my own fault. The last two days of the beta, I messed up my recording software and as such, the video quality is so horrendous I don't even really want to post it. Therefore, I'm very limited and I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel as to what footage I can really use for these videos as we wait for the full launch of Black Ops 6, which at the time of this video being recorded is exactly two weeks away. So I think we'll make it. The show must go on and today we're going to be discussing something that I've been and seeing a number of people talking about because Activision is still so hellbent on protecting Lil Timmy here in the Call of Duty franchise, even to the detriment of the franchise itself. So here we see a tweet from Mr. Charles Intel saying that Black Ops 6 will have voice chat moderation and in-game text chat moderation at launch. There's been a 67% reduction in toxic voice chat with the new detection tools across Call of Duty. It will expand to cover French and German alongside English, Spanish, and Portuguese. So this was to be expected, right? Black Ops 6, of course, was going to have the same voice chat moderation that we had here in Modern Warfare 3, despite the fact that the system itself is flawed in a lot of ways. There's so many people out there getting comm bans for really forgivable stuff. Like, for example, if you're swearing a bit too much in COD in voice chat while playing Search and Destroy, well, then they're probably going to give you a comms ban. Other people, however, don't even have their mics plugged in, and they also got comms banned. I've seen a number of people tweeting at me, let me know about that in the past, and just, it seems like it's such a flawed system. Like, if you drop one too many F-bombs, or if you say somebody is ass, you're probably going to get banned. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if suddenly you're labeled as an ableist if you tell somebody they're blind for not seeing somebody in Search and Destroy. It's gotten to the point where nobody ever wants to talk in COD anymore. This, along with the disbanding lobbies, I feel like has made COD feel so much different than how it used to be. And I'm not even talking about the crazy stuff that was going on back in the OG Modern Warfare 2. We've all seen those videos. Like, COD voice chat back in the day was something else. But I'm not even talking about that necessarily. I'm talking about just old school COD in general. You would get into a match based on your connection. Therefore, most of the people you were playing playing against were relatively local to you. It was very common back then for people to recognize area codes and people's clan tags. Like you were always playing with people that were relatively local to you. You got into that lobby based on your connection and most people had mics and they would either talk shit or they would just chat with one another and then the lobbies would not disband. So you developed friendships and rivalries with the other people in your matches. Nowadays, you're thrown into an optimized lobby based on your skill and therefore you're matched with people from all around the country or even all around the world. Nobody talks in those lobbies lobbies, whether it's because they're comms banned, whether they're afraid of being comms banned, or maybe they're just sitting in Discord, and then the lobby disbands at the end of the match, and you're likely never going to see any of those people ever again. You guys have heard me talk about this in the past, but a lot of the time, Call of Duty Now sort of feels like a single player game, and I can't be the only person that feels that way, because with how tight skill-based matchmaking is, every lobby feels about the same. There's very little variety in terms of how the other team plays and what goes on in most of my matches. Nobody talks, you never see those people again once the game is over, it's a lot like you're playing a single player game with the difficulty turned up once you get into those higher skill based matchmaking brackets. Like the only thing that really changes are the names of the people in the lobby, but they don't even really seem like people because they just play like everybody else. Nobody talks. There's not really any personality or anything happening there. It just it kind of feels like you're playing a single player game. I can't be the only person that feels that way. And that's a real shame because Call of Duty matches used to feel so organic and varied. I know I've pretty much reached grandpa status here on YouTube because I've been doing Call of Duty videos for over 13 years now, but I'm sure many of you guys had the same things happen to you back in the day. Your friends list was made up of people you met playing Call of Duty. You would talk to these people. You knew these people. You'd be playing Search and Destroy. You'll be talking trash back and forth or whatever. And then every now and then somebody would back out and then they would invite you in. Now you're playing with these guys and you might add a few of them. Then the very next night you see that one or two of them are on. You send them a message or they send you a party invite. You start playing with these people and suddenly you're friends and you're going to end up being friends for a very long time. Hell, there's people I met back in like 2008 playing Search and Destroy and World at War that I still talk to today. Nick, who was on a lot of my Let's Play videos on my second channel, Nick from Texas, if you guys know him. I was literally playing World of Warcraft with him the other day. I met him in 2008 playing Search and Destroy on Airfield in Call of Duty World at War, and 16 years later, I still talk to the guy. Like, that's how things were back then. That's how I met pretty much all of my online friends before I became a YouTuber. After that, things changed up a little bit once you're a YouTuber. Now, I mostly meet people through open lobbies that I hold. That's how I met people like Nate or James, Sean, Wildcat, all those people. I met them through open lobbies, but before that, I met people playing the game and chatting with them, and I really 
really don't think that happens anymore. I'm curious if you guys have any stories to write down there in the comments. Like, when was the last time you guys met somebody playing Call of Duty and now you're friends, you guys play together and whatever? Like, does that even happen anymore? Because I really don't feel like it happens nearly to the extent that it used to back in the day. And a lot of that comes down to the fact that people are just afraid to talk in COD anymore. And I'm not out here saying that lobbies should be full of racist shit and all the crazy stuff that we used to experience back in the OG Modern Warfare 2 days, but I am saying that now Call of Duty has lost a huge part of what made playing this game so much fun. You felt like you were actually part of a community, but now, with people getting banned for swearing in an infirmature game, most people don't even plug their mics in, and if they do, they mostly don't leave party chat or Discord. It's been a slow progression over the course of the past couple of years, but Call of Duty went from being one of the trash talkiest games out there to a game where literally nobody speaks, even in modes like Search and Destroy all the time, and it's all because Activision does not want little Timmy to hear about what his mom does at night, which the things I learned about my mother back in the Modern Warfare 2 Black Ops 1 days, my goodness, I can't even look at her the same anymore. But yeah, Activision is still cracking down on voice chat, and Black Ops 6 is going to be no different, and apparently they're going to continue to ramp this up as they continue to add more languages and more things, so they're automatically recording and monitoring every voice chat interaction that happens within a Call of Duty lobby. It's just so weird, man. But the funny part is I did see a bunch of people saying, like, man, I'm going to start learning how to swear in Hungarian or something like that, because it's just, people are getting so sick of the system overall, because on one hand, I do understand, like, moderation and trying to, like, keep things that are not completely toxic, you know what I mean? But at the same time, they definitely go overboard with it, especially in an Ember Mature game, where the announcers themselves in the game are swearing on their own, you know what I mean? Like, the game swears all the time, it's an Ember Mature game, you're literally running around and shooting people, but heaven forbid you tell somebody that they're ass, like, it just, it doesn't make any sense, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video here today, I hope you enjoyed it, leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments, thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.